bit on the why, a little bit more about the hows now. This is, but it, it actually shows we fly within 100 miles of Mars. I mean, that's essentially being there. Uh, it's just uh, that easy to go out, swing by, use the gravitational uh, sw uh, shift of Mars, and come back to Earth, just like a boomerang. Uh, you don't have to have any propulsive maneuvers. It's really simple. So I think it goes without saying that it's going to be an incredible honor for these two crew members to be on this mission and be the ambassadors for humanity, the first people to have ever laid eyes on, on the planet Mars. But it's not necessarily going to be a very easy trip. So I think one way to think about it is this. It's a really long road trip. You're jammed into an RV that goes the equivalent of 32,000 times around the Earth, and you can't get out for about a year and a half. And you've got everything in there with you, jammed inside. You know, I'm uh, you know, just you know, really excited about this. There are no showstoppers. You know, we're on a tight schedule. We've already started. We have funding to keep this going for two years, out of my pocket, but anyway. Uh, we should be able to raise the funds to complete the mission. Uh, it, this is a challenging but a, attainable goal for advancing human experience and knowledge. Now is the time. All right. We've got a timetable. We've got a little bit on the why, a little bit more about the